Yeah, I was, uh, I was born and bred in Shepparton in country Victoria. Uh, it's about two hours north of Melbourne, so um, I'm country boy and proud of it. No, I actually grew up in, uh, in the city. Um, I've had a lot of grief from a couple of my mates who did actually grow up on the farm that they're real country boys and I'm not, I'm like a city country boy. We, we had a lot of birds, uh, a couple of dogs, we had a, sh a lamb at one stage, uh, we had a stumpy tail lizard at one stage as well, so uh, pretty lucky in the country where we had a big backyard and dad was quite fond of pets, so it was, it was pretty fortunate. I think uh, growing up with animals is, is a great advantage uh, when you get to your older life. We've actually got a jewellery store in Shepparton, so um, blizzardsjewellers.com.au if anyone's looking for some jewellery. But uh, yeah, we've been lucky enough to have that jewellery store for nearly 18 years, so um, for the majority of my lifetime I've, uh, I've, I've known all about jewellery. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of mates who have, uh, who have bought engagement rings and uh, it does put a lot of pressure on me uh, having a girlfriend as well. Uh, my brother's a, a rep for Sketches Shoes and uh, my sister actually works in, in, a, in the family jewellery store so I think there's been a competition between myself and her to see who can, uh, who can take over the store quickest and uh, she's clearly leading the race at the moment. From the age of probably 13 or 14 I, I worked there after school Friday nights and Saturday mornings uh, so that was quite interesting. I, I do know a hell of a lot about jewellery. My, uh, my girlfriend does think that I'm a little bit weird sometimes when I'm commenting on people's earrings and necklaces, but uh, it, it's just something that I've grown up with and, and I think it's normal, but apparently it's not. I had one teacher in grade two who, who was quite a character. He, I remember he drew Gonzo on the, uh, on the chalkboard and Gonzo was up on the chalkboard for, uh, for about six months of the year. So that was, it was always pretty memorable. I, I found him really, really cool. The coolest thing that he did was we were using grey lead uh, pencils back then and he, uh, he actually used to use a Stanley knife to sharpen my pencil. So I think I, I remember myself breaking it on the, uh, on the, the, the table just to, just to try and get him to sharpen my pencil again. Being from the country, it was cricket and footy in the summer and the winter. I uh, played a little bit of soccer when I was younger, but I didn't really get into much else. I uh, went in for, for a mark and hip and shouldered someone, I think it was my teammate, and uh, popped my shoulder out and broke the collarbone. Uh, and then uh, I think it was 12 months before then, I'd, I'd fallen over on my wrist and uh, actually had to have a wrist reconstruction. So. Uh, my left hand side of the body's not been very nice to me, but I'm, uh, I'm getting through okay now, which is, which is pleasing. I fell out of a tree uh, when I was in grade one or two, and I, I don't remember it. I woke up and I had a big bandage on my head and I actually had some stitches through here, and I don't know if I've got a scar or not still, but I think mum always said that I was uh, very hyperactive. Uh, I wasn't naughty, I was just very active. Uh, I've been to England a few times and, and obviously toured to it in places like India and Sri Lanka, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy here in Australia. I really enjoy uh, the, the slower lifestyle here in Adelaide as opposed to the, the faster lifestyle in Melbourne, but uh, I'm just really looking forward to, to seeing what's out there when the cricket career finishes. I actually went to Berlin last year and um, it was just something about it that really reminded me of Melbourne. Uh, the, it was a very relaxed place. Um, rich with history, uh, a lot of things I uh, did a, a walking tour and, and really enjoyed it. So I'd really like to go back there at some stage of my life and uh, possibly even move there and, um, and settle in. I've just got into a TV series called True Blood. Um, I've watched the series one and series two in about a week and a half now so I'm waiting for series three to arrive today in the post actually. And I don't mind Twilight as well, there's something about the the, the vampires that, that really attracts me. I have an iPhone and my favourite app would be NBA Jam. Uh, they've actually re-released it and uh, it's been consuming a lot of my time of late, uh, particularly on the plane where you just flick the phone onto, onto airplane mode and, uh, and you can actually play the game. So NBA Jam's been good so far, but give it a week or two and there'll be something else on there that, uh, that I'm playing. I've been categorised as a tween. Uh, my music taste is hideous, uh, apparently. Uh, my girlfriend does listen to a lot of Triple J and I'm, I'm the complete opposite. Whatever's in the charts, I'm, I'm loving. So there, there could be any songs, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, who knows what I'm singing yet.